everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Valencia if you're new here today I'm going to show you guys my portfolio I will also be showing you guys some tips of what I would tell myself in the position I was about two years ago freshly started in sixth year nervous about if I'll ever get accepted into my first choice if I'll ever get my portfolio done at the time it seemed like the most impossible thing I could ever be putting myself into but I'm so glad I did it and pushed myself because in the end I got my first choice I'm studying the course I want and love interior design in Dublin I'm so happy with the decision I've made of actually choosing the course I did once again I also have some more notes written down in my notebook because I really want to make it informative for people who are you know you don't have to be in sixth year because there's different routes you can take into college also just to clarify things I study and live in Ireland so I was talking about how to get to college last university in the Irish school system education way basically the most common route that people take to go into college last university is through the leaving cert which is an exam taken in the sixth year of a leaving certificate that's the final exam taking kind of like the equivalent to like I don't really know the equivalent in America I think SATs in America GCSEs in UK basically the final year taken in your high school also Irish college positions are awarded true points you add it all together from all the I think it's six leaving cert subjects out of the six subjects you sit for leaving cert you're given grades for each exam that you sit and passed at the end you add it all up if it's either equivalent or more to the subject that you want to study at university you're given your course and it also depends on what position you give in your CAO option I'll leave a couple links at the bottom if you're in six to yourself and kind of confused by the points I know I was like the test dummies for the new leaving cert points that happened in Ireland you were the first year to be graded with like I think it was B1 B2 B3 all that stuff I hope that gives you guys like a rough idea of how it's like to get graded in Ireland people usually say university so throughout the video I'm gonna stick with university slash uni because that's that's the term we usually use for like higher education how I got into my interior design course in Dublin was through a mixture of how much points I got at my leaving cert results plus the portfolio points I would have gotten from being graded for my portfolio. My course was graded with two elements, leaving cert points and a portfolio point. I have gotten full points in my portfolio assessment so here I'll show you guys everything that was contained inside this portfolio and then I'll uh, give you guys some advice. I may repeat myself but yes I got 600 out of 600 points that was required in my interior design course and then I'm also going to talk about how I ended up picking the course that I did in TY which is also the fourth year of my secondary school experience I really started to kind of like think about what kind of career I want to branch into studying in university before that I've always kind of been head set on becoming a vet low key that's always just been the practical answer that i've given people that's what usually when you're growing up in an african household kind of thing they expect you to become like a lawyer marry a prince or you know the next Barack Obama like a president they expect high expectations I've always told people a veterinary all the way till about fourth year slash TY that's when I really started saying you know what I don't think I want to become a vet that's like not my career anymore I outgrew it honestly was not even passionate about it for the longest time before I started saying it to other people at the time in TY it kind of changed to like beautician like hair makeup nails that evolved and then by fifth year I was like okay I want to study in some kind of branch in design I didn't know exactly um, the difference between graphic design, product design, all those things were kind of like on the list. I didn't know which to pick. Fashion design was very high on that list of mine. At the end of the day, I just realized I love design. Long story short, by the time I have reached the start of sixth year, I realized that interior design is just a passion that I was going to stick with to study at university. Also, just for those who are kind of like, who are raised up in a household where arts i know that arts are usually almost nearly always frowned upon in like traditional strict cultural family households it took people a while to accept that okay like i'm going to study art at school i'm going to study art i'm going to study art and for me i've always it doesn't how do you even want to say it like that because people just assume that if you study art you're not bright in the head like what anyways i've always gotten good grades at school and stuff so my parents low-key had like very high expectations about me studying something more white color you know the professional kind of typical 
high earning doctor but once I told them that yeah I don't want to study that I want to study my passion which is design in art school they kind of looked at me like what for a while but at the end like they just knew that I've always liked art like I've always been talking about art for as long as I can remember so it didn't really shock them like that because they knew I liked art I always painted I've always drawn I've always picked art at school at the end they just came to terms with it they're like okay you know and they've been supportive about it for people who are just found themselves stuck between um, saying they want to study art in their head but find it difficult to say it to their parents and family it's not hard to tell that someone has a passion in art so if you're always drawing if you've always been designing your own clothes if you've always been sketching and doodling if you've always been painting just say it to them and it won't even come as a shock to them because you've already known you've had a passion for it like don't hide your artistic talent let it out let them know you like art go study in art school you won't regret it But not everything I had prepared to originally put in my portfolio could fit or was even completed. This is one example. Yeah, I had started it. I glued down the paper and everything, cut it up. I don't even remember what I had envisioned to put in between these and it didn't even pull through. But obviously this design just wasn't meant to be finished at that time. This was another one. Meant to be kind of like three different moon stages, like a full moon, three quarter length moon, and then a, you know, banana half moon. Then this language here was, I believe, Greek. I'm not even fully sure. I, I don't remember the idea, but the base is nice. I might finish it one day. I definitely will, but obviously this was just not meant to be my portfolio. This next one I covered with this kind of brown paper because there is chalk pastels on it. This is like a mixed media sort of idea that I had. It's vase that was always sitting in my living room at the time. The base with the pencil had already been drawn. Even the details of the flower and everything. It's beautiful. I definitely will finish it one day. But for now, I kind of just like how it looks like this. Just, I like that you can see the bones of it. Let me open this big old thing. Oh my gosh. So just to say it really quickly now, I also had this piece right here that's on my Instagram. It's actually printed out because it looked really nice that my mom wanted it around the house. So yeah, I don't have it in my actual portfolio right now because I took them out and held them around the house. The first page that I had opened up my portfolio was this pen, entirely pen, felt tip pen drawing that I did. It was kind of inspired by a Christmas card that I got and I really liked the design of it and I took a lot of inspiration from that design. The border here that I have drawn was painted. That's how that looks like. And I had an opening because it honestly just is my favorite piece. It just represents love and that's what I'm about. Next is this kind of series, two part series that I have going on. Fun fact about this, it was meant to be a three part series. A woman here, a man there down here together in the middle but while i was printing i realized that i didn't print the man's part so the woman's part was only left but that's why it's only two i still like you know worked with what i had but that's a little behind the scene what it was meant to look like and what it actually ended up looking like after that one i included this mixed medium hand kind of collage thing i have going on i, I think sixth year or was it fifth year i don't remember but it was definitely done in secondary school and i included it because it looked really nice it looked to my standard the next page after that it's kind of like a mood board yeah like i've been seeing this all over pinterest so i did my own version of like an apartment that i would have designed an example of themes that i would have used for it this is how this one looked all the pictures i think were taken from pinterest and just collaged together to create this mood board Throughout my portfolio, I also use this app called Humo to design my dream apartment, like I said. This was what I came up with. That's the floor plan on the app and hand-drawn. This was some more pieces that I drew on the app Humo of the interior design project that I gave myself. Some more sketches. This was a still life I did in sixth year some objects that were nostalgic to me like some candles mac makeup first makeup some earrings a teddy of mine a bag with this cloth with a yellow background i also included some photography like i said i did also include photography these are some shots i took of a mix in dublin and berlin this is once again dublin and berlin plus me and my friend and then myself here 
It was a bar kind of idea that I never finished, but this was the mood board for that little last minute bar design I was coming up with. This was like a self portrait I did with using the method triangulism. It's also one of my favorite parts. One thing I was not a fan of was the little color I did at the bottom. I felt like it looked better without it, but I guess it works. I'm not a huge fan of it looking back, but it worked out. Behind that is some digital work. It's mostly line work, no faces, and it's of me in different angles. And I framed it with a border. Some charcoal pieces. That's of me there. This is also of me, but with a different hairstyle. This charcoal one also took me spent the longest time as well and it was the messiest I'd say. That one is my uniform. Behind that is the last page of my portfolio which was chalk pastel, full body and then this one in pencil of me sitting down on the floor. This is like the first little mini notebook I had. So to touch on some more preparation I did to get into college while I was actually in sixth year because like I said earlier at the time preparing and finishing my portfolio seemed like a long journey to me like I didn't think I would get it done at all so in sixth year I was studying full time I worked two days at the weekend so I'm not gonna lie it was challenging to balance all of that out I also tried to balance having a social life having some sanity like just having a break from studying or working or whatever I kept telling myself it was all gonna be worth it was all gonna be worth it and it was so just try not to overwork yourself if you try to talk to your manager to take some time off reduce your hours at work I also would recommend that you start working in six year because it's a huge help once you actually reach university to have the money saved over summer before you actually go to university I recommend picking art first for leaving cert. If it's not that, then woodwork, construction studies, anything related to the course that you want to do in the arts department or design department. Also, while in secondary school, make sure to become friends with your teacher because your teacher in secondary school will give you a huge boost on extra supplies to help you prefer your portfolio. If I did not have that close relationship I had with my art teacher, most of the things here would not even be in existence. Like I would not have known what to buy, what to put my portfolio in. I also would not have had like the access to all this paper. Like my art teacher gave me so much supplies, so much paper, so much painting tools. I did not have a printer at the time so I would always print in the art room. She just gave me so much supplies and I'm honestly so grateful for that art teacher. Also in touch with that, make sure you really 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 research the university you're looking to apply to. Look at the portfolio requirements for your specific course. Look at how much points are needed. Look at how much portfolio points are needed. Look at what they're specifically looking inside the portfolio. If it's photography you're looking to apply to, 
obviously that's gonna have different requirements to my course which is interior design if it's product design you're looking to get into that's gonna also have different requirements make sure you narrow it down but once i finally got my portfolio results my submission for my portfolio was around march my mom dropped me there i waited in line handed in my portfolio they gave me a piece of paper and wrote down my cao number my email my name address all that stuff i also wrote down the code to the course that i wanted to study so a couple hours i would say like an hour or two i don't remember if we were actually called back or they told me come back in an hour or two got my portfolio back and then went home so way before i graduated way before the actual leaving so i already knew my portfolio is also just such a huge relief because it's been a lot of work so once i found out that i got full points in my course it lifted a whole like weight off my shoulders i was like more at ease it gave me more confidence to reassure me that right all i need now is just to actually like study the actual like the inner components of my leaving cert and i was pretty much guaranteed my spot now let me get into once you actually get at university what to expect at art college i expected everyone to kind of like dress like hippies low-key but you know everyone had their own different styles like people who had similar styles to me people who really had like that vintage style looking going on a lot of people have their hair dyed people just wear whatever they want to wear to be honest there's people who dress like they would in secondary school to be honest just wet you know like the traditional kind of irish outfit yeah you see people try to express yourself true style more while you study at art school homework load is fair enough to be honest like you can balance a job more with it all I will say is all-nighters, especially project models, cannot be rushed overnight because that is impossible to do. It's a lot of gluing, it's a lot of research that goes into projects. You can't rush it overnight, so don't even attempt it. Like Once you get your brief, focus on it. Break it down bit by bit, but do not whatsoever leave it overnight. Because Even two nights before it's due, because it will be impossible. It won't look the way you want it to. It's just not good, and it's so obvious when a project has been rushed. Trust me, it's so obvious. Don't be that person who people look at her work was rushed you know a lot of independent learning so you're teaching yourself a bit most of the time as well get yourself a good functioning working laptop i had a good laptop but i just needed my ram to be updated somebody told me because my laptop only had 2 gb ram installed i was like what you will see a lot of different styles a lot of different design styles within your class people have their own different styles and just try to make sure not to find yourself comparing your work to other people because it's very common just try not to do that like you obviously got your position in your course because the teachers or whoever says you saw potential in your style of work it's okay not to fully stick with the style you had in sixth year because that can evolve and change it's okay to get inspiration and you know change up your style switch it up it's okay for your design interests to evolve try to avoid finding yourself comparing everything to other people and be listening your own work just because it doesn't look like theirs have you know have a class group chat and within that class group have your own little you know bubble and i don't say that as okay have your own little bubble don't interact with the rest of the group whatsoever especially if you have a bigger class group like just try to get to know people in the class not everyone in your class will be bothered to explain things to the extent that you need it to be explained in it's nice to have that little familiar face also if homework is missed or if you're sick it's nice to just text them instead of the whole group chat they'll put a little more effort to keep you updated and catch you up compared to your whole general class group because not everyone will be bothered to reply to your messages if you want to study art just do it apply for a choose the ao pick art for leave insert not everyone has the gift and passion for it so push yourself and you'll reach your full potential just always draw always paint always design always make art just keep drawing so that's it for me at this video make sure you like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and if this helped you out please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao